Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sandy and today I am going to do a video on 13 unique biblical baby names. So if you're looking for a biblical name but are getting tired of the Mark, Matthew, John, Noah, then keep watching. The first name can either be pronounced Ada or Ada. The meaning is firstborn female because it was the firstborn female's name after Eve. My second name is for a male. It can either be pronounced Adriel or Adriel because usually in Spanish you'd say Adriel and it means God's flock, God's helper, and God's majesty, which is pretty awesome. The third name is Lucius. He was a prophet and a teacher of the church of Antioch. It is of Latin descent, Lucio, Luz, which is light or to illuminate. The fourth name is a female's name, and I actually have a friend by this name, and I love it so, so much. The name is Salome, which means peaceful and tranquil. The fifth one is also for a female, and I love this one too. I almost named my daughter this, well, her middle name this, but I didn't, but I still love it so, so much, and it is Sarai. It is the original version of Sarah. It indicates a woman of high rank, a princess, or noblewoman. The sixth name on my list is Ezekiel, and I really like this because of the nickname Zeke. I've heard the nickname before, but I've never actually known any Zekes, besides what I've seen on TV, but I've always just thought it was a really cool nickname. It means God strengthens. The seventh name is Micah. That can be for a male or a female, and it means who is like God. The eighth name is for a male, and it is Obadiah, so Obi for short, and it means worshiper of Yahweh or servant of God. The next name is for a male as well. I like a lot of male biblical names. It is Uriah. I do know a little boy named Uriah, and the name just sounds... I don't know, it just sounds so nice. And the meaning is just as beautiful. It means God is my light or light of the Lord. The 10th name is for a male as well and it is Malachi. Just something about it, the way it rolls off the tongue, I, I don't know, I just really like it. And the nickname can be Kai, which is actually pretty cute. It is from the Old Testament and it means messenger of God. Number 11 is for a female and it is Hadassah. Now we do have a Hadassah in the family. Her name is Hadassah Rose and she is my husband's cousin. And the nickname for this could be Hattie. It is from the Book of Esther, and it means myrtle or myrtle tree. Now the twelfth name is also a male name, and it is from Greek origin, but this name was also in the Bible, and it is Linus. And the definition for it is flax. Linus was a Christian companion to Paul in Rome. Plus, when you also think Linus, you usually think of the cute characters on Peanuts. And the last thirteenth name on my list is not an actual name, it's actually the name of a place. And it is Galilee. I personally just feel like it would sound really beautiful on a little girl. Now Galilee is a place where Jesus spent most of his life conducting miracles. And then there is the Sea of Galilee where he walked on water. And as an extra perk you can nickname her Gal which is super cute just like Gal Gadot. And the nickname for just Gal is Wave or Gaul in Hebrew. So for me the last one is kind of a score. It's like a double whammy. So those are my 13 more rare and unique Bible names. I hope you liked them. If there are any that jumped out at you or any other ones that you guys have, please go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!